I'm happy to report that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we were talking about the acquisition of uh, Safford maps, the entire collection uh, that the Library of Congress was so happy to get in 2009. And Robert Morris was about to replace John Abair as the head of the map division. And uh, I just got a call recently. I had offered him this pair of gloves, and they had decided to take them. And this is uh, their 1802. Uh, they are this terrestrial and celestial gloves. Uh, they're uh, an unusually nice pair, and uh, they were done uh, in London. And the, the uh, there are all kinds of really extraordinary uh, things on the uh, celestial globe. And uh, as I said, the, the, the British uh, use celestial globes on shipboard for, to uh, determine the uh, positions they were in, uh, which seems it's very elaborate, complicated thing to do. But uh, the reason uh, the Library of Congress decided to take this, uh, actually, they're going to take the pair. But but the the real kicker is is that this is the only known uh, globe, at least to my knowledge, and I've looked at lots of catalogs and lots of collections and had many globes. Uh, this globe, uh, you know, 27 years after the beginning of uh, the country, uh, shows the United States as just east of the Mississippi River and uh, Florida and Louisiana, which includes New Orleans, are not part of the United States. But in the Appalachians, you see the whole Appalachian Range running up here, and uh, extreme, what is East Tennessee now, there is uh, a proposed country, it looks like it is a country because it's on there, of Frank, I mean the state of Franklinia. And the Franklin family uh, wanted to uh, honor their great grandfather or their grandfather who was uh, in the revolution uh, and the Franklin family were very prominent and big landowners in that area so it would be very good for them. Uh, one of my best friends growing up was named uh, John Franklin Moore. And my middle name is Murray Franklin Hudson so obviously Franklin is uh, just part of the picture in Tennessee. Uh, and this is, uh, I'm delighted that this is going to be in uh, the best collection in the United States, where it will be on display. And I thank Robert Morris for making the decision.